One way to present your designs to clients is with 360 panoramic shots, and doing that in Blender is easy. You can set a location in the center of your interior or any scene you have to place the cursor there, then shift A to add a camera. You can reset the camera rotation with Alt-R, then direct it to any side. It won't matter much, since we will capture the entire room. The default camera type is set to perspective, so open the slider and choose panoramic. This will switch it to fish eye lens, which is cool, but if we look inside the panoramic types, you will have the equirectangular weird name, but it's what we need to make a panoramic shot. We also need the frame dimension to be set in a way that the X value is double the Y. Then we can multiply the percentage to 300 times for better quality. You can now set the file format and render it as usual. It might take some time if you want to capture more details. I did make some light adjustments to the render, and with this, you can send it to anyone, then direct it him to an online 360 viewer like this one, and that would be much easier for him to preview the space. There's also the option of making it into a video using After Effect or online sites, so let's make it with After Effect by simply adding the footage, then right-click on it, go to Effects, Perspective, and choose Double C Environment. After that, we can add a camera with any settings and move it around to preview the panoramic image like we did in the viewer site. The rest is just keyframing the orientation in the camera settings to make a full lap on the span of 10 or 12 seconds to 359 degrees, so it loops when it's done and output that as a render cue with the default settings. And that's it. Hope this been fun. Like and sub and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.